I probably can't read that, but we shall be attempting to play Terra Cresta. Has that improved the situation, or has it been, has actually improved it a little bit? Let's get this sorted out, and then uh, maybe the video quality improve. Yeah, whatever. As long as I can hear the uh, bullshit I come out with when I'm playing these games, it's, uh, that's good enough for me. And if I think they're funny or interesting, then I upload them. I don't actually upload every single video that I make. So I can imagine how bad some of them are. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah well. I'm gonna have to get this stupid chair up to uh, adult levels, not fucking six year old child primary school chair level. have a uh... now I'm thinking of um, packing away the CD TV and uh, getting one of the Amiga 1000s out I noticed how fucking expensive they are on eBay <coughs> uh... Because I did find my 512k expansion, that was always the problem with that. So, uh, you know what? I need to do a bit more work in the house. I don't deserve an Amiga 1000 yet. Da 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 da. Taking its fair old time. Yeah, loading screen was never anything special. Yeah, we're not using any trainers, so uh, let's play high score tame and uh, reset the high scores. Do you want to? Yes. Usually it's. Uh, Come on, stupid chair. I'm still fucking falling down. Right? Edge of the seat stuff, literally. Who could forget these iconic graphics? Well, me, obviously. There we go. Oh wow, these graphics are reminding me of a Saturday morning. When the chair's not playing ball, you can't. Oh, I'm gonna get fucking uh, leg ache. God damn fucking chair. Fuck off. Did I move the camera there? So I've wasted two lives because uh, everything you buy in the shops is uh, fucking uh, designed by wankers and built by wankers. And because wanker millennials keep buying them for stupidly high prices, this chair ain't worth more than a tenner, mate. Ah, fuck off! fucking chair for that one. Talk about ruin your mood, fucking millennials. So the score and the stuff is actually in the border. So it's probably one of the first games to have that. Enough with a chair, for fuck's sake, man. Come on, you piece of shit.
So we've got brown. Uh, is that light green? You've got light blue and brown. Are they your two uh, character based mode uh, free colours? I actually think the background graphics are better. Quite a challenging game, I have to say. This would have been a nightmare with the old uh, quick shot turbo. No, 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 fucking. I couldn't even get the old fucking thing. It's a real tough game. Now that the chair's playing ball. Yeah, this was a cool game back then. Like I said, Slap Fight is another good game. Oh yeah, I shot that one, piss off. Same weird going on with the um, rapid fire, they just piss off off the screen, see? That's the problem, they fucking swarm around. Oh, you have to shoot that thing, I guess. A bit of a fuck up here. Oh well. Is it hybrid where if you shoot them thing? Ah, oh, piss off, mate. So there's a lot of challenge in this game. And finally, we're on the. Uh, like that is it very upbeat tune considering uh, I just got wiped out in it I might have another go because the chair is not fucking me about now the camera is slightly in my way and I want to be sitting closer to the telly. I probably should play these games with the old uh, quick shot turbo. Which looks the same as a quick shot too but hasn't got micro switches. It's got shit switches, that's what they were officially called, the uh, ones the Atari joysticks use. I know I've got to get them blue ones, so... Off, off the screen, go on. So those blue ones don't hang around, but the, the ones later on do. They're a bit cheeky. We're getting closer to getting a bloody power up. And you've got to remember, it was a comeback from the shots and I thought, wow, this is brilliant. And uh, I suppose quite rightly so for the time. And uh, you would have just played this from like, you know, I suppose about lunchtime. To like, well, Probably dinner time, the first time you got it open. Come on then, you motherfucker. Motherfuckers. Although your target that they have to hit is now fucking huge. But uh, you can see all the shots. Uh, you know, the bullets coming towards you. Ah, oh, bollocks. Get off the screen, you cunt. Be sneaky, them things. Yeah, I need 
Grandma. Yeah, he was my favourite character in there. Setun Mapetos. So we are getting better with each go, that's a sign of a good game. Music is nice, the graphics are nice, I think the backgrounds are better than the sprites, but the sprites are okay too. This is actually a nice effect, they're obviously using uh, sprites to do the high score business there. See, sprites are. Uh, yeah, it's got to be multiplex sprites to do that. One more golden. Right, I've given up on this chair. This chair is intent on ruining my enjoyment of this game, so it's gonna have to go in the uh, front garden very soon and hopefully someone will take it away. I think those little volcanoes stop your shots, do they? Bloody hell. Oh, it's just shit collision detection. You don't get any extra protection, but you need all three wing upgrades to do the, uh, you know, Battle of the Planets Phoenix thing, which I didn't mention before. So we're still stuck at the first bit, that technically. However, this game is a joy to play. It's one of those early C64 games where you say to yourself, you know what, the C64 wasn't a bad choice at all. Yeah, even worse. <laughs> Although, I only got 400 points less. I would have actually beat my last score if uh, this stupid chair wasn't fucking sinking like a fucking pensioner's 